Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Efficient Python. In this session, we're going to take a look at another item from the collections module. So just bear in mind, collections is built in, so it doesn't need to be pip installed or anything along those lines. Uh, and the one I want to look at today is called counter. Counter is a subclass of dictionary, and effectively its job is to create basically what is like a frequency table. So suppose we have uh, the following items. Let's suppose we have AA, uh, B, 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 C, something like this here. Now, a frequency table would basically be something that takes, let's do it in a bit, an iterable just like this, and will effectively give you give you the unique items and their counts. So in this case, A appears uh, C twice, uh, B appears three times, and C only appears once here. Now, you could do this manually using a dictionary and a for loop, but the job of counter is to basically turn this into this automatically for you. And because it's a subclass of dictionary, uh, all of the usual items, so get, set, default, keys, values, items, those are all available and there for you to use. However, with, um, with counter, it comes with a method called most common, which is actually really useful for basically telling you which items are, you know, or which M items are most commonly appearing in an iterable. Um, to set it up, it's really simple. Let's just quickly take a, um, let's just say string and uh, let's just do some basic letters so we'll do two a's uh we'll do four b's some c's and uh, loads of d's f like that but again this could be this could be a list of things it could be a set could be you know um, could be a tuple could be anything really anything that is iterable basically anything that has this done the method behind the scenes um so let's call this rec short for frequency and if i then go ahead and do counter here you can see that count is telling me that it needs some kind of iterable. So this would suffice. So if I do string here, that should be good. And then also before we do this, I want to prove it to subclass. If I do is subclass um, and then pass in the name of the class counter, I'm going to ask, is it a subclass, sub, sorry, subclass of dict for dictionary? We hit run and we get true. So this is a subclass of this also means if I go ahead and run the dir, just short for directory, if I run dir over counter, uh, clear the screen and hit run. Check out all the methods we've got. We have like clear, copy, um, you know, get items, keys, pop, so lots of things which appear in our, you know, in our regular dictionary class. Those are all available to use because we're inheriting from that um, super class of dictionary. So. Uh, let's get this removed and uh, let's print f r e q frequency and see what we get and there we go so notice straight away look at the ordering here so d appears the most that appears seven times so it orders the dictionary according to the most commonly occurring item here so all the way down to f and of course you know f has got one at the end there um one thing we can do if i do dot update here and uh, let's just pass in um some more Fs. Let's try this. And there we go. F now appears as four here. So you can call the update method. And in this case here, it's it it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and update it um you know over the lifespan of your, your counter, which is quite nice. Um let's bank this out for a second. And the one that I think is really important, one that I tend to use the most, is this most common here. And this returns you basically a list of tuples. Um, so I'm gonna do um Let's call this most common, and then I'm just going to do freq dot most common, uh, and then what you can do, you can pass in an optional n, which is the basically how many what how many things would you like back. If I leave it blank and then just do most common here, quickly show you what this returns. This basically gives you everything, but see how it's like a it's this different format. It's no longer a dictionary of key value pairs. It's a list of tuples here. Now what you can do, suppose I just want to see, um, I don't know, maybe I'm interested in the two most commonly appearing elements. I uh, pass in two here, hit run, and then we get these two here, which is all sorted and good to go. And effectively that's it. It's a really simple tool. It's something that I tend to use quite a lot. Um, before I knew this existed, I was creating dictionaries and iterating over things and I, you know, putting the key value pairs into the dictionary. Um, I admittedly discovered this quite late, so, um, you know, if it's something that you've never seen before, it's definitely worth having a look at and trying to use this in your own code. 
But yeah, cheers for watching guys and see you all in the next video.